Welcome to an Abus lock that I got from a locksmith when I was on vacation recently. It's one of the locks from his scrap box and you can see it's a snapped euro cylinder. And he told me that he never picks locks when he um, is asked to open up a door, but he rather uh, snaps them or drills them. This is uh, much more reliable and much faster. So time is money, these were his words. Anyhow. What I want to do in this video with this lock is I want to pick it for you and then I want to do some uh, destructive testing. I actually never tried uh, to drill a lock and I'm curious to see how much it takes to, uh, to drill uh, a hole in this lock um, and yeah, to do um, destructive uh, manipulations until the plug turns. Yeah, I don't know if there are uh, steel pins inside, there is at least no visible uh, steel rod. Um, yeah, I, I will not gut it after the picking because I want to preserve the original uh, clip with a, a tight fit. Um, so maybe we can look at the pins after the destructive testing. Um, yeah, but this will be fun and I'm not actually really prepared for the destructive testing. Um, so I just want to see what I can do with my normal drill bits and my normal power, power drill. Yeah, so let's clamp it up, uh, pick it and then I will go downstairs. Alright, lock is clamped in the vise. It's locked up. And yeah, I don't have a key, but uh, we don't need keys, we just need picks. Um, I turn it um, counterclockwise and use a south ord pick hook uh, to pick it. So, 5 is binding. Binding really good. So these locks usually have ser a serrated and spools and the newer models have uh, spools with an additional uh, T-pin end. Maybe this is an old one that has only normal spools. So, got five. I believe five is the serrated and it dropped into a nice full set. So, one is okay. Ah, touched three actually and the full set increased. And now two is given feedback. And counter, have, have to help the counter rotation manually. So, I believe there's quite a lot of dirt in this lock. Okay, I think I got it. Nice. Yeah, these Abels are usually uh, great fun to pick. One, two, th three is... Yeah. yeah, three is given feedback. Getting counter rotation. Wow, and now one popped up <laughs> and it's open. Yeah, fun pick, but um, let's close it again. But this lock will not be the same when I'm done. So here is my setup. The lock is clamped in a little vise and the little vise is clamped in a big vise. This way I can attack the lock from the front, otherwise the lock um, would be clamped in the big wise and point to the left or to the right, which uh, yeah gives me a less comfortable um, um, access to the lock, so it's uh, easier when I come from the front. Then we have the uh, power drill. Uh, I clamped in a 4mm drill bit. Not sure if this is the appropriate size for my attack, but I with, will start with this. And it's one of the drill bits from this box and here are all the yeah, old and used drill bits. So I have to um, accept that one or two will break uh, in my uh, attempts, I think. So this is um, acceptable for, for these drill bits. Yeah, what else? I will uh, use WD-40 um, to put a bit of, uh, yeah, lubricant here so that um, the heat is uh, better uh, absorbed. 
when drilling and yeah I have my punch and my hammer and let's start. Oh first I zoom in okay let's start not sure where is the best position but I think around here maybe got a good hole here for the drill as a guide So let's see how this goes. Oh. Okay, this drill bit is quite dull. Um, I will try use a different one. Hold on. Okay, next try. Uh, this looks good. Okay, I don't think that the lock already turns or the plug already turns. Nope. But now we'll use a larger drill bit and continue. So here's a different 6mm drill bit. Oh, that's much better. Okay, so we have a big hole hop. We have got a big hole here, have to find the uh, lock again. Okay, so ha, I've made quite a big hole here, but the shield on is not yet clear. I think a, a bit of the uh, driver pins still stick in there, and yeah, I have to find the tool to uh, push down the key pins, and maybe they fall into this hole and then uh, I can turn the plug. So let me grab a pick or so and then I'll be back. Okay I have just a normal uh, Peterson jam here. Let's see if I can get the pins pushed down. Uh, some pins are already moving.
Oh, that's the vice. Haha. <laughs> this one is too big, so I have to change again. Okay, so pin chamber 5 isn't uh, cooperating, the pins are really uh, wedged in and I think I have to drill out the plug now. <laughs> yeah, so I think this will become a little bit violent, therefore I will use uh, safety glasses and I am prepared for everything. Yes, it turns. <laughs> it turns with high speed. Maybe the other way around. To unlock the door. Like so. Yeah, I think this is kind of a success. Yeah, so I will um, uh, try to collect all the parts and then I will go upstairs again and we can finally look at the mess. So here are all the pins that I found in the shop. We have four key pins here and the fifth is still wedged in the plug and two in the fraction of a driver. A spool is serrated and this fraction here, I believe it's also part of a spool. Yeah, drilling out this lock was actually pretty easy. Uh, leaving aside the dull drill bit in the beginning. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure if burglars would use this kind of um, attack um, because it's really noisy. But it's kind of a tech that uses or that requires actually almost no skills. You only have to have a, a power drill and a short drill bit and then you're quickly done. Unless the lock has a, a drill protection. So drill protection are hardened inserts in the Bible for example or hardened steel pins. And then it's much more difficult to uh, drill out a lock. Um, it would require uh, specialized drill bits and it takes much more time. Yeah, so uh, you are really warned to use uh, locks without drill protection. Anyhow, I hope you had fun uh, with this little lock adventure and yeah, thanks for watching and happy picking. Cheers and bye bye!